will present FiberClay, an immersive system to visualize 3D trajectories and to interact with them. In this example, the user investigates one day of recorded aircraft trajectories over France. The user can change his point of view, change the visual configuration, and explore specific areas like Paris. The user can adjust the visualization, scaling a specific axis, turning the visualization into particle flows, and then performing selections. The user can then inspect specific subsets of the dataset and finally adjust the selection. In this example, the user selects flights between Toulouse and Paris, two major cities in France. The user refines the selection by removing extra selected flights. Then, the user will turn the visualization into the vertical view to better explore the different altitudes of the selected aircraft. While many aircraft have a high altitude, some outliers are visible. So the user turns the visualization with the particle system to assess the flight directions, remove standard flights, and only inspect the two outliers' trajectories. This example will show how the user will assess the quality of the inspected dataset. First, the user selects long duration flights. Then, going back to the vertical view, the user will investigate the selected trajectories. First, the user removes these long trajectories and then inspect the emerging patterns. This one is a data fusion error. That one too. This trajectory is an actual aircraft trajectory. This square shape trajectory is also an actual trajectory. This example shows how the user can select, thanks to the bimanual selection, a specific type of flying aircraft. The user brushes on the left and right side of Paris, selecting every aircraft which flew around Paris. The user can remove extra selected flights and then inspect the selected subset of the dataset. This example showed the exploration of one week worldwide trajectories. When transitioning from the 3D view of the aircraft to the speed and direction, this wave shape emerges. These shapes correspond to the impact of the wind on aircraft speed. When the user selects equatorial aircraft and then transitioning back to the wind impact view, the user can see that this aircraft has an opposite wind impact compared to the global wind. Furthermore, the user can extrude this visualization on the temporal axis and explore how the wind changes over time. Our final example shows the exploration of DTI brain fiber. Visualization is really dense and complex, and the user can apply different edge bending or visual simplification algorithm. To better understand how this simplification operates, the user can perform a selection. Refine the selection.
and apply different visual simplification algorithm. The goal here is to understand how this dataset is being stored and to find the most suitable simplification.